Hello, my lovely Lego addicts. Do I look bleary-eyed and slightly tiny-eyed? Yes, I have just woken up. It's currently six in the morning. <laughs> I've been meaning to film a video about the new modular all week and it just not happened because this week has just not gone to plan in any way, shape or form. And I'm like, I'm filming it now before I leave for work again today. I have made myself a coffee to sustain myself. But this feels weirdly intimate. I feel like we're just we're having an honest little chat, you know, in the morning when like your, your, your senses have not yet kicked in. I've had so many thoughts about the new module since it came out, of obviously since it's been released. I think we need to start off with, obviously the new module is going to be the Natural History Museum. It's going to be pictured, I'm going to add pictures as I go, olive green with loads of different accents of uh, dark brown, tan and white. It has sort of like the Greek old worldy sort of architecture, but it's not like um, too classical in its way. It's very much like a bit of a hybrid of everything, which I quite like. It comes with loads of little like little nods to all the sets, lots of little cute builds, definitely quite a prominent story in the actual build as well. And I am very excited. I saw the image, I saw quite a blurry bad image initially, and I was like, Okay, now I'm hyped. This is exciting because I very distinctly remember, maybe you do too, that when I was alive and the modular happened to get accidentally released whilst I was live, I was very much like, oh, okay. Which sadly hasn't really changed. I think releasing a modular is, always comes with like a very much a gut reaction for a lot of people. And generally over time, when you kind of look into it more, that can sway either way and kind of like go, no, actually this is quite nice or this is actually not for me. I feel like with the Jazz Cafe, my initial reaction was eh. And it's still eh, even though, even though I'm working on <laughs> doing a project where I'm going to change it basically completely on the facade, not change it, but like add stuff on, add, change the colors and basically make it my own. So I may actually, get it eventually, just I'm gonna heavily change it. Anyway, that being said, that was quite a let down. I didn't go queue on January 1st. I didn't have any interest to get it. I was like, if I can get a discount, maybe I'll get it. But otherwise, I think I'm gonna leave that one. This one was like, yeah, I'm back to the queue. I am very excited. Obviously the bonus this time was, it's going to be released on December 1st, which is a bonus because it means I have it earlier. Uh, it's not a bonus because my budgeting was not ready for that. I did not realise it was going to be releasing sooner and also it's not the cheapest one. This one's going to be a base plate and half white, so 48 studs, and it's properly taking up that space. And uh, it, the price reflects that. It's a big building. It's £240, but then it is big so it's not super surprising. I also really feel like I'd love to see it in real life because I feel like I know in my head it's going to be as big as assembly square. Assembly square is obviously three buildings so it doesn't feel that big but this one's going to be just one building so I think it's going to feel quite big in person. Basically I really really like it. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy to get olive green masonry back and that's probably like my main takeaway when I first saw the pictures like oh my god it's the masonry bricks so I'm very hyped for that. <laughs> Um, I'm also really excited to see Olive Green kind of coming back because obviously one of my favourite modular prison restaurant is actually Olive Green and I think it's kind of exciting that we're getting it in a sort of different way. I also have the Haunted House like mocked uh, in my city which is also Olive Green so I quite like Olive Green. I think it has its place. A lot of people aren't sure on the colour which I couldn't understand is quite a decision. I think changing the colour though expensive is not like impossible but it's, I quite like the colour, I think it's really fun. I'm gonna probably have that building determined about the level of my city because I'm stuck, currently really stuck on a layout and I would really like a building that I can centre it around. So I feel like this is probably gonna be that because it's big and it's also crying out for extension, which is probably my second thought, which is this is an awesome building on its own, but it's also literally a museum. So you could make it way bigger. It just, a lot of people like buying two modulars and making it bigger, but this run, this one feels like it's really designed to be extended. I've already seen various like photoshops and, and just ideas and also Brick Artisan is obviously on it and has already just done two extensions for it of like making it taller, making it wider and I'm really hyped for that. I think that's probably my main excitement of this module is I really like it, which is one thing. It's a nice set, which I feel like a very ba base level. But there is also a lot of ideas that straight away got sparked. A lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to make my own in this way. Oh, I'm going to make this exhibit. Oh, I'm going to make, you know, like, I really like seeing people excited and seeing people come up with ideas, how they're going to make it their own, because I feel like that's what Lego is all about. So 
Um, I'm really excited for this. I think I also am going to change some bits to it. I really like it. Um, don't get me wrong. However, there's various bits inside. I'm like, oh, but I really like to have like maybe minifigure display, maybe like a Sesame Street display, maybe like Disney. Like you can really make the interiors be like a thing for you. Um, I like the exhibits inside. I really like the planetarium, the uh, solarium, solar system thing built. I think that's really cute. I really like sort of all the nod stored sets. Um, I think it's awesome that they've like even used the roof. I'm really glad that we're not getting just another flat roof. It's another sort of half domed contraption. I'm really excited to see the pillars used. I, I just really like it. I think it's gonna look amazing in my city and I really really just look forward to getting on that hype train a little bit because I really kind of missed last year where we all just queued up for like a modular on, on, on the 1st of January in the cold and obviously this year that's gonna be the 1st of December but I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to make the release but I am super hyped for the actual thing. It's currently on pre-order if you want yours. Uh, just think about when you're going to want to order this because there's various gift of purchase obviously available. So depending on when you order, it depends what gift of purchases you get. So have a little think. If the current gift of purchases are your thing, then order it now. If you want to wait until there is like two times VIP or if you want to wait for a different promo, like definitely wait for that because there's loads coming, like loads coming. I think on Black Friday, there's going to be a release of the taxi gift purchase. So we kind of have a bit more detail about that and when that's available. So there's loads of stuff happening and I'm really excited about it. So um, I really hope that we get to share this joy together. I really love to hear your thoughts because I think the color is pretty divisive, which is fair enough. Um, the color of the jazz club is very divisive as well, but I think that one not many people ended up warming to, whereas I feel with this one a lot of people are warming to it. And let's be honest, people, having this module in your own hands is so different than seeing pictures of it, even though I have probably looked at the pictures of this module like 20 times. So I am very, very, very hyped. I think it looks amazing. I probably missed like 20 million things that I wanted to talk about because uh, I haven't got images in front of me. But yes, I will be getting this day one. Hopefully in person. If not in person, I'm going to order it. Another modular and hopefully a huge redesign of the city because I'm working on a redesign and it's going badly. I've redesigned my entire bottom level of my city and then put it back the way it came. Um, that is a video that is still coming out, by the way, but it just, it just um, I'm struggling. But this module is probably going to de determine a lot, so I'm very excited. Alrighty, I'm going to stop rambling on. I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to go to work. But thank you so much for joining me on this early morning honesty chat because I really liked it. Um, I don't usually come in this room um, during the week or actually like in the morning, especially. So yeah, um, awesome. Thank you so very much for being here. Modular time.